130 degrees under, but look at this. Temperatures are livable. Oh no. So I researched houses. I did research houses and I have some research going. I shouldn't have stopped my research, but I did. All right, so here's what's up. Because I don't need workers on the hot houses, I'm gonna take everyone off of food, basically. I mean, food's taken care of. So all the workers are gonna have to start building houses, but I don't have the much steel. So maybe I'll need to build a, an advanced steelworks first right here, get an automaton on it, and then build houses. And Overdrive's gonna have to carry me to there. And yeah, look at the conditions. This is very manageable. I don't know if I'll be able to get enough up in time, but if I can even save some people, I'll be happy. If I need steel, I need to stop doing prosthetics. The amputees are gonna have to stay amputated. I desperately need houses. 17 steel for a house. Good God. Well, let's get going. I'll have to take this automaton and move you over here to give me more steel. And once it arrives, I'll get the foreman going. 11.8 steel per hour per factory. So that means I'm going to get about two or three houses an hour. I've got to get all the houses built before temperature drops three levels. Because at least houses are going to be significantly better than the previous stuff. And actually, maybe I could do some more research about houses. House... House redesign, maybe. It costs 10 steel less. Why haven't I done this? Yes, they're 10 steel cheaper. It's just gonna take a little bit. But they need to keep working. And what I'm gonna need to do is have this steam hub go 24 seven, just to keep this 24 hour shift researching. Maybe I build a workshop. It's only five steel for a workshop. Yeah, maybe, maybe a workshop here. Build more houses. Next workshop is up. Get in here, and we're gonna go... No, no. Heater on, foreman, emergency shift. We need this research done. It has to stay comfortable. I'm gonna be nice here, at least. This is no longer a 24-hour shift. I'll turn off the heater. There's a duel taking place. Don't really care. It is so important that houses have 10 less steel to build. Once this is actually complete, I will be able to build all the houses. What is this? A significant drop? Oh my god, this is extreme. This is super extreme. Danger of collapse in a coal mine? That's terrible. This overdrive is going to have to go off soon. Okay, house redesign. Good. Let's build houses. Seven, seven steel per house. I can afford this. I'm out of steel, but I got a lot of houses going. 301 people are homeless. That means 300 people are going to have a nice house soon. House is going to be at max here. I don't know what else I can do. There is actually nothing else to research now. Save these guys from their shift. You're done. Discontent can drop. I need to keep building houses. And hopefully they're built before I need to turn off overdrive. We're getting a lot more people being treated, but thankfully I have the capacity for it. Houses are being built like nobody's business. This game is so extreme. I can't believe they dropped this on me. It's getting colder now. Here we go. How bad is this? 148 under. Houses are comfortable. Bunk houses are not so much. I might be fine with houses. Yeah, I need equal parts steel and wood. Where am I? The mines are freezing? It's so cold that the hydraulic roof supports are coal mines are failing. If the t tunnels collapse, the lower levels will be cut off. We should either abandon them or send volunteers to replace the supports, but the task is extremely dangerous. 80% less outcome? No. I have to send volunteers. This is the time where people have to be brave. Some of them may die, but that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. But I'm going to be honest, we all need this. I only have a day's worth of coal. 28 people died, but you know what? Hope is up. 
hope just shot up. Something went right. I'm actually almost out of total wood. I might have to start scrapping buildings then for wood. Like here? This can't mine any more wood, so why don't I dismantle the building for plus eight wood? This, there's not any more wood, so I'll take it from the building. Discontent dropping. I don't really need this cookhouse anymore. How about I get 15 wood from dismantling it? Soon, overdrive's gonna have to go off, and I don't think I'm gonna have all houses by then. Medical posts are just livable. Oh no. Critical stress level on the generator, 90%. I do not have that much time left. Soon it's gonna have to go and I'm gonna lose some people. I've got a lot of houses, but not as many as uh, would be ideal. I think, actually I have every house except one around the ring. So let's see, can I tear apart more buildings? I think I'll dismantle this. Someone became gravely ill. House? Let's see. Okay, not everything is up the center. I'm gonna get the outer ones first. And I'm gonna ride this as high as I can. Keep an eye on this. Don't want to accidentally lose. That'd be terrible. Now, the issue is because houses are being built, some people are still gonna be left in the cold. 97%. You know what, 98%, I don't want to get to 99 Just let it be. Here we go. Discontent rises. How bad is it? Houses are chilly. Child shelters are very cold. They're helping in medical facilities. Here, I could turn on the heater, at least. Watchtower, I don't think I need. People aren't going outside. There isn't watching that needs to be done. And I need to save the overdrive for the super storm, the significant drop. Okay, I can still build more houses. I'm getting close. I only have 50 people sick, though. That's not that bad. Medical posts are inoperative? Oh, so I need to turn on the heat here and at the other medical post as well. Okay, well, let's treat the people. Shelter in the medical posts. Okay, I turned on a bunch of heaters on medical posts. How am I doing economy-wise? Still in the positives? It's a miracle. I need more wood, though. I need more buildings dismantled. Nobody's working here. Nobody's working here. Let's, let's dismantle it. Tear apart the buildings? I need houses. I have 82 freezing people. There must be people at work right now. Yeah, I have freezing people way over here. I'm willing to... I'll relieve these people their duties. What is this? More hands needed. That's fine. We'll send more people to the coal mines. Only five to each. That's fine. How many people do we lose? Fifteen. But hope is mega. We might just get through this winter. And look at this. I can build more houses. Four more to be exact. All I need is two more houses and I'm covered. Need to find more wood. Well, actually, there goes another one. Another house. One more house. One more building destroyed and it's going to be this one, I think. This is maximum houses. Okay, let's take a look. Houses are chilly, but I'm gonna have overdrive back pretty soon. The people are kind of freezing though. Some of these steam hubs are gonna need to be on 24 seven. It's helping a little bit. How's my economy? Still fine. And actually, I only have eight homeless. All these houses are built, they're being built are kind of extra. Because I did have people die to disasters. Honestly, I know it sounded like I was cheering on deaths, but I was actually cheering on how few deaths there were. For a disaster this extreme, to only lose about less than 10% of my population is insane. I'm at 615 people right now under my face cam. Now it's like my wood can be going into research. Maybe advanced heaters will make sense for next? Yeah, advanced heaters makes the most sense next. But now... I don't know. Can I get any more wood anywhere? <laughs> I don't have wall drills. I might be out of wood entirely. Okay. Someone became gravely ill. We need to have some amputations. Okay. This means we need more medical posts on. I'm gonna have to go maximum medical post at this point. People are getting sick. And we're just gonna constantly be treating each other. 
max out all of these if I can. Let's go here. Let's go heat on, emergency shift, infinite prosthetics. I can handle the discontent here. It's chilling. We're going to go foreman as well. I'm going to start dismantling some hunter's hangers if I haven't already. You didn't think it was possible for it to get this cold? I know this is extreme. Let's get rid of Hunter's Hanger as 30 wood. I think I'll need it for research. Very cold. Let's take the people off the guard station. Okay, that raises discontent. You know what? Never mind. I don't know if I can take much more discontent raise. I gotta be smart. Coal has to keep coming. Because I'm, yeah, I'm in the negatives now. I'm bleeding a little bit. 166 under. Medical posts are chilly, but still operative, right? Yes. Good. I did... Oh, no. What is this? Mine's operational. Sir, the volunteers managed to replace the critical supports in the lower levels of our coal mines. Our coal supply is safer now, but the cost was great. 45 of our people paid the price with their lives to give us a chance to survival. They will be honored. Oh, no. This isn't a one-day cold. I don't know how cold this is going to be cookhouse isn't really operable. I want to get the last of the um, raw food cooked, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Generator has to get de-stressed, though. Otherwise, I'm going to get stressed. These people can go home. This is way too extreme. These people, I think, also can go home. These, uh, there's nobody here. Let's turn on the heater here. How's my economy? Still in the positives? Can I research something right now? Research, um, advanced heaters. Yes. Advanced heaters, absolutely. There's freezing resource depots. I don't care. Uh, this does not need to be on anymore. Nobody's working in here. This hunter hut, I think, could be dismantled. My steam coal mine is freezing. What if the heater's on? Oh, that works. That works. I can, I can get behind that. Public house is freezing. We're sending you home. Guard station freezing, sending you home. Coal thumper freezing, sending you home. I just need to gather. I have plenty of coal on the ground to collect. Advanced heaters are going to take four out, 14 hours. Okay, we're going to have to do an emergency shift then. Um, I'm going to take more automatons from the steelworks. And put them in places where people were. Someone was injured during a duel. Okay. I'm going to put the automaton over here. The economy is still in the green. I'm going to make it through the night. I know I am. Okay, we got a lot of people sick, though. So I'm going to have to turn on the heaters. More heaters at medical posts. So here. Yeah, let's turn up the heat for these other medical posts. And child shelters. The sawmill is freezing. Go home. Child shelters. There we go. There we go. Oh, but even with the heat on, the child shelters stay freezing. All oh, the children are not even in the shelters. Oh, no. And it's about to get colder. Okay, I'll turn off the heaters here then, since nothing changes. <gasps> Advanced heaters researched. Okay, temperatures are raised by three levels just in time for it to get colder again. Hold on. Is there any other research I can do that may help? Generator range does nothing. Prosthetics will be produced faster. Oh, let's do that. Sure. Oh. Yep, it is getting colder. Oh, joy. 184 under. What the hell? So... The houses are now very cold, not freezing, high risk of falling ill, low risk of becoming gravely ill. I have to make it to here before I turn on, oh, I could turn on overdrive for a little bit right now. Yeah, I'm actually going to turn on overdrive for a touch. Darkness before dawn. Sir, one of our engineers is him crashing through the door, white face demanding to see you. I run the calculations with the new data. The storm will pass in a couple of days, but the temperature just before the end will drop drastically. Nothing can protect us from such cold. Panic is starting to spread, and people are losing all hope. We have to stay strong. There goes hope, but it's still not too bad. 
The temperature will drop three levels in a bit. I have to make sure I have a fresh overdrive ready then. I'm just going to do a little bit right now just to placate uh, people. Houses are chilly. That's manageable. Most people are being uh, taken care of. Medical huts are looking good. Oh, this one's not on yet. Turn up the heat. How's my economy? It's in the negative, but not by much. I'm overall positive, and I have a lot of spare coal. This one's livable. Because it's livable, I'm actually going to put people back in here. Work them harder. I should be working everything harder when it comes to coal. And then I got to get the automatons to places where people like people can't work. Get the automaton off the coal pile and onto the coal thumper. Because the gathering posts are making do right now. Something just happened. People refuse to work. People at this medical post refuse to go to work today. They want to spend their final hours with their families. What should we do? Okay, so medical post, I can afford to let them stay home. That's just one. That's not a big deal. Actually, soon I'll have the amputees taken care of entirely. I did not expect that to happen. I'll take it to the middle of the day and then turn off overdrive. Or sorry, the change of the day. Optimize prosthetics researched. Can I do anything else? I haven't bought this. Improves the workplace of integration of automatons, boosting their efficiency is 70%. How on earth did I not see that? I actually desperately need that. Hunter's hangers, why are you still here? I need the wood. Let's dismantle it. Because, yeah, autom auto automatons are keeping the city alive right now. Somehow my economy is still in the green. I don't know how this happens. Okay, I have the wood. Now, this isn't super urgent. It's not super urgent, but I do want it by the time the temperature drops significantly. Let's get these people through the workday at least. And now that it's up, this should be the last shift they work. So what I'm going to do at this point, turn off overdrive, get the people to stop working, turn off these heaters, and we'll be okay. I have houses that are very cold. All of my houses are very cold. This is just something we have to put up with. Oh, it's getting scary overnight. People are freezing. Oh man, everyone's getting sick. Well, not everyone. Only about a quarter of my population is sick right now. It's not too bad. But it's only going to get worse as the time goes on, no doubt. What about this factory? Um, I haven't needed a prosthetics yet. Let's do a short shift at least. It's actually warmer in the factory than it is in the home, so I guess I'll keep them there. Oh, but you know what? No. I'm going to turn off this heater and send them home. Because economy is in the negative. Not by much, but it is in the negative. Miracles happen. Sir, it's a miracle. The man who went looking for his daughter is back. He brought her with him. He says that he found her soon after leaving the city. But then they got lost and had to wait for a lull in the blizzard to find their way back. They're both exhausted and frostbitten, but very happy. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, the extreme cold lasts at least three days. Well, that stinks. By some miracle, I don't have that many sick people yet yet. Okay, once again, I'm going to dismantle a steelworks for wood. I think the prison can be torn down, too. We don't need it anymore. Um, let me take... Okay. Automation, or automaton integration has been researched, and I realize now there is a integration 2 to 80%, and then integration 3 possibly to 90%. I'll have to take those. But look at the economy boost. I'm in the green. What I want to do right now is take an automaton and move it over to this sawmill just to get the last of this wood that'll help with the research. Okay, I got the wood. I have it. Let's research integration two. It'll take a bit. I'm not going to do a 24-hour shift, and I can't if I wanted to. Panic spreads. The entire staff of this gathering post has refused to go to work. No, gathering post is important. I'm sorry. And it's just a minor hit. We have to push through. Okay, we're looking at maybe 30% of the population is sick now. 
What is this? Work ceases. Sir, most of our people have abandoned their workplaces to stay home with their families. Only the medical facilities are still functioning. The city holds its breath, waiting for whatever the end will bring. We have to stay strong. Here we go! Oh my god, 238 under? Everywhere is freezing. Everywhere is freezing. It is now time to go into overdrive. Can I do it? Overdrive makes no difference. You have got to be kidding. Even the medical posts are freezing. They're inoperative. Everyone is sick. No, actually only half the people are sick, but that's almost everyone. I need to collect more coal with automatons. I cannot send people into work. I cannot do anything. This workshop is inoperative. That is such a shame. Well, I mean, this does... N well, hold on. I have a care house that's working. A care house somehow hasn't frozen over? It's the little care house that could. How about this care house? Oh. Oh, okay. I can get something here. There's got to be more of these, right? Why didn't I think of this? I should have built more care houses. Everyone could have stayed in there. Two-thirds of the population are sick. 142 are gravely. Economy is in the crapper right now. How long will this last, man? How long? Wait, what? The storm ends. The wind dies down and the temperature starts to rise. An eerie silence descends on the city. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> We've done it! It's over, ladies and gentlemen! I thought it was about to get colder. That's what that sun meant. We survived the final bowl, we will live. We didn't lose a single person during the winter storm outside the heroes that saved the coal mines from collapsing. We had so much leftover food, so much coal. I could have built some care houses, but unbelievable. We started as a formless rabble. Banner by the, is this a time lapse of my town or just the generic looking thing? It looks like my town. Oh, this is sick. A time lapse of everything. 80 people disorganized a week. First, we decided to tighten our belts. Thin soup became our main meal. And every day was a struggle. So we adapted. People spying on each other. Brainwashing propaganda. Prisons. Oppressive guards. Yet, I fear. We have gone too far. Order was abused, but then it canceled. Just, uh, just so we're aware. I dropped the, the, uh, the order phase. The city survived. But was it worth it? I don't know. Is there going to be like a morality rating? 1887, New London, 612 citizens. And 22 under. What, does like an endless mode begin now or something? No, that's just the end of the game. Holy crap. What a good game. This was incredibly fun. I had a baller time playing this. The reason why I uh, decided to play is because Frostpunk 2 will eventually be a thing. Even if I don't play more of this game, just because of, I don't know, I don't know how this series is going to go. Hopefully people enjoy watching this, but if there's not too big a following, you know, I'll stick it out until Frostpunk 2. I at least wanted to get my toes in the water for this. A full review of the game should be down below. This was incredibly fun. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. There are a lot of other game modes with their unique stories, so if I was to continue this, there would be stuff to do. And that is all. Have a wonderful day and peace.